What's going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here. At the end of each month, I go over in full transparency how well my trading algorithms are doing. I build my own trading algorithms and invest my own capital in the futures and stock markets, and I show you how well they do. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over October, 2021. As you can see, it was a profitable month. I will uh, zoom in here. Um, so for October, 2021, we made $2,227.75. Uh, this is in US dollars, and this is net profit uh, after losses and commissions, okay? Um, you can see that uh, we have more stats here. Um, I'm using the magnifying tool again. So I'll just go over a quick list. So 4.85 was a profit factor. Um, we had a max drawdown of negative 579, um, sharp ratio of 0 0.37, which isn't that good for most people, for, for most investors. Um, and I'll talk about that why later. 76% um, win ratio, which doesn't really matter. Our average winning trade was $171.37. Average losing trade was uh, 193 and average winning was 280. Um, our max consecutive winners was nine in a row. Our largest winning trade was 1280 and 50 cents. Average trades per day was 0 0.75. Average time in the market was about three days. Um, okay, and let's take a look at the analysis here. So there was our uh, equity chart for the month. As you can see, it was very, very smooth. Um, a great month, you know, um, a lot of my systems go long. So, you know, October went up that month and we did pretty well. My oil system, my, my oil algorithm is doing very well as well. And, and that was able to, that had some, some volatility in there and that one goes long or short. So that was pretty good. And then my, my gold system isn't doing too well. It's not doing terrible, but it's, it's not doing as well as I want it to do. Um, so you can see that there wasn't many trades this month for me. Um, you know, 0 0.75 trades per day. So, you know, on average, it's not trading every day, um, which is good, which I mentioned, you know, I only build swing trading systems. I don't really trade intraday anymore because it's very, very tough. It's very, very tough to make a consistent profit that way. Um, but yeah, overall it was a great month. Can't complain. Um, let's take a look at some of the other metrics. Um, so there's a net profit per day. So on the 19th of October was a majority of my profits, as you can see. Um, there was a couple other days that were decent, but that was a lot of my, my profits for that day. Uh, let's take a look at, so max drawdown is like the worst day possible. So yeah, the worst day I was down 260, which isn't too bad. Um, what else we got? I'm actually going to turn off this magnifier because it's a little bit, I guess we could, yeah, I'm just going to close it. It's getting a little bit annoying now. Uh, and actually, one more thing I like to look at is the day of the week. I always find this interesting. Yeah, so Tuesday. Looks like Tuesday was the best day. Yeah, no, overall, it's, it's been a great month. Um, you know, when the market goes down for, for a month or for a period of time, even with my oil and my, my gold systems, they're still not performing as well. I mean, they are a hedge, but they aren't making a profit. So I guess overall, as I can re if I can reduce my risk on those days, but obviously my long S&P and NASDAQ uh, future strategies, um, algorithms, um, they obviously don't do well if the market goes down, which makes sense. Um, so still really trying to figure out how to mitigate that. And maybe it just comes down to adding more strategies to hedge that um, I'm going to be releasing a or launching a Bitcoin strategy here pretty soon. That is long and short. Um, so I think that'll help a little bit. That's definitely uncorrelated, but I think I still need something else. Um, but overall, great month. Can't complain. Um, did a lot better than last month. Uh, last month was red, but I think I was only down like five or $600. And this month to make 2000 is fantastic. So can't complain with that. Um, but you know, one thing I did want to talk about was, you know, can you do this full time? You know, can you 
trade full time with algorithms and use your own capital and make enough money to pay your bills and pay yourself a salary and, and save some. And to most, I would say no. Like, I show you guys how much I make, but this isn't my 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 full time income. Um, I view this as, you know, one day would I like to do a business around this? Maybe, you know, I've thought about it, but you know, my expertise is software and, and building systems to help people save time. Um, generally, <laughs> save time or, or allow them to to you know access something that they couldn't do manually, but. Um, you know, to do this full time would be very hard. And, and to make enough money where you can pay yourself a salary from your profits and pay taxes and save money is very tough. Um, you know, I'll be releasing a video at the end of the year of how much I made and you're, you're going to see that it's not really livable. Because it's not I mean, I, I think this year, I'll probably end, you know, maybe a 25 to 30% return. But I'm only trading with, you know, around 40k 40 50k, right? So even a 20% return on that is, is 10,000 profit. And, and, you know, after capital gains, it's going to be less than that, right? Capital gains, you know, we'll say we'll take 30% away from that, right, for example. So um, unless you have an insane amount of capital, right, first, you have to be good, like you have to be like, have good strategies and that follow best protocols and stuff like that. So that's number one. But even if you're good, like you need a lot of capital. And ideally, if you want to make a dent like actually make a lot of money with this is you need to invest other people's money you need to get certified and and raise uh, outside money and and take a fee on on that management um that's the only way to make a lot of money in my mind um because then if you're using other people's money it's reducing your risk um obviously it's more stressful because you're handling other people's money and you know what if you lose money that sort of thing but that's the only way to, to make money right um, you know, yes, if you have like a million to 2 million liquid cash to invest uh, and run algorithms with, yeah, you could probably make some decent returns. You know, if you have a decent year, say you make 20%, you know, that's 200K in, um, in profits. Um, obviously, after capital gains, you know, let's just maybe do 40% of that. Uh, I don't know what that would be. I guess 120K, uh, which is still a great salary. Um, but then you want to also, you know, take bigger or reinvest some of your profits to, to, you know, compound that. Um, and then what do you do with that? Do you use 120 K to pay yourself or like how much do you put that into invest? So generally you want to use other people's money. Um, and, and that's, you know, the best route, but it's obviously there's a lot of legal stuff that you have to go through. You have to get certified. You have to get your, you know, series three or series seven, whatever assets you're looking to get into, pass some tests, pay money for that, then pay lawyers and stuff like that. So uh, generally I would say no. Um, if you're going to invest your money, just, buy a, a long-term index fund or, or, you know, if you really want to get into algo trading and you really want to start, there's nothing wrong with, with doing algos and, and doing with a, what I do. Just don't expect to make, you know, a massive amount of income. I uh, look at it as another income source, um, that might be able to make you money and you won't make serious money until you're trading with, you know, high six figures or seven figures. Um, but then again, your capital gains goes up a lot as well. So generally I just recommend, um, having long-term strategies, you know, put in an index fund, that sort of thing. But, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of my rant, I guess. I like to do one of these, uh, per video. Um, oh yeah. And just another proof. Um, so SIM 101 is the paper trading account in Ninja Trader. Um, so if I click this, you can see the results change. If I unclick it, they're actual my account values. So, uh, just, you know, showing you guys that anyways, yeah, this is for October, 2021. Um, I hope you guys found value in this video. And if you did leave, leave a comment below, I'd love to hear your guys thoughts. I know I've been slacking a lot on the videos. I've like my past two videos are my monthly returns now. Um, so I've been very busy and, and life's like really busy right now for me, but I definitely want to get back onto some tutorials and I have something launching really, really cool near Christmas time. So stay tuned for that. Um, it's going to, help you guys generate strategies a lot quicker and a lot faster. And I'm really excited to release it. So that'll be for Christmas. But um, yeah, expect some more tutorial videos, especially with Interactive Brokers, TradingView, TD Ameritrade, that sort of stuff. Uh, I got some more content on the way for that uh, in November. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate the support. And we'll see you next week. Peace out, guys.